explore today is the jing, the foundational movement taught, you know, in Capoeira when you first start in the beginning. And what the jinga really means is sway, transition from one side to the next, or transition from point A to point B, swaying from side to side, swaying the body weight from one place to the next. That's actually a definition. But we teach that principle in a triangular footwork movement that's been popularized and known as the Jinga. And it's done in all styles of capoeira. And it's actually the trademark. Once somebody sees this movement, everybody knows, oh, they're doing capoeira. But what I want to explore about the cap, what I want to explore about the Jinga is I want to show how it's weaponized and the importance of the Jinga and how it is used in a self-defense purpose. So let's go over how it moves around. All right, so here's the Jinga. The Jinga is a triangular step move, right? I like to start from here, this base here, the front of the triangle. The triangle is a backwards thing. Here and one point here. One, two, I like to start at point one and two that I just said. Boom, boom. This is the base. Right here is where all the action is. All right, this is where I protect it. I have all my weapons. I can transition from side to side. Boom, and then I'm back here. Then I come right back into where the action is. And I'm back here. Boom. I can be low. I can be upright. As long as you notice when I'm here, I'm very well protected. My hands are here protecting, creating a cage. As I move, this hand starts to drop, protecting my lower part of, part of my body. And then I'm right here. And this is the sway from side to side. Now this can be translated in many different ways. But long as I know that right here is where I need to be strong. I need to be protecting myself or I need to be attacking. So most likely all my attacks are gonna come from this position. For instance, let's throw a martel, all right? I step in, martel, out. Back in, martel, out, right? So that's how I like to use the jinga. The 
the show from Star. All my attacks come from right here. There goes your French. Boom. There goes your French. Boom. Notice how I can move and keep this movement going. The soul is trying to follow me. No problem. I'm protected here. I don't care what they do. I have all my options here. Then you're going to relax into it, right? And this is where it turns into a pet. see all the potential. So this is the shape. But I really want to focus here. What goes on here? What's the potential here? How much potential we have right here? What do I have? Oh, what? Oh, I have, I can use my hands here in a very, creative manner, right? I can camouflage my kicks from here. I have an inside knees. Elbow. Elbow. Elbow rack. So everything for self-defense purposes is in that inside part of the gym. So let's go to the back. What's up guys? Okay, so now we're on the back and you kind of got a sample of what we're going to be working on on the bag or what we're going to be exploring on, on the bag regarding to the gym. Now, let's get in mind that a lot of the things I'm doing here, I won't necessarily do in the harder. And for those of you who don't know what the harder is, it's a ritualistic game that we play amongst a circle, amongst the people who play capoeira. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of the harder right now, but these are things how we can weaponize the jingle and being able to defend ourselves in the street outside of the home. Okay? So, using the bag as a target and as something that I can give damage to. Because when I have a person, I can't really exhibit and really explore the potential unless they have protective gear on. I really want to get in there and strike that bag. Alright? And I want to weaponize. These, I want to use these type of strikes, close quarter strikes, in my jingle, all right? And so I do capoeira jangola, and our style of capoeira is very close. So using these strikes are very available to me because of the style of capoeira that I do. So focusing here, as I jingle, we talked about this is the place of action as I'm inside. You see the potential? All right. Ah. See the potential? So everything is here. I mean, are you seeing it? This is what I see. So why don't we play here? Let me play that boy. I can throw kicks from there, right? I 
and stop anything they feel. so much damage here on my way out. But being comfortable here is where it's at. I see a lot of people when they play capoeira, they're comfortable here. Right? And they kind of don't they leave themselves open for attack here. The jingle looks like this. Or like this. And this is where all the action is. So why don't I focus here? This is where all the action is. I can throw any kick up. Coming right back to here. Get out the way. Back to you every time. If I go right here, come right back down. So the Jenga can be used very differently when you put your attention to where the strong point is, which is here. Not here. This is a setup on escape, but you gotta get here to do any kind of damage, all right? I wanna get to my weapon. I'm using my, it's, I can't do anything here, harder. Might get my hand cut, might grab me. But if I'm in, oh, that's more like it. This is better. And even in getting to one, this is a spike, by the way, by Cold Steel. Big up to Cold Steel for making these cool little, called the Dark, the Delta Dark by Cold Steel. Check it out. But even the Jenga helps me get to this, right? Because of my hand position. See? My hand position. I like to keep things in the front so I can get to it with either hand. I have my shirt outside, then this hand will pull the shirt, this hand will get the weapon. So I have to use that, I like to call it the X guard, the B boy stance. Take my B boy stance. Good. Yeah, but you have to have the foundation. 
this is our foundation in Capoeira. So you have to have this. I don't like when I see this. Or this. And this is crazy too. I do the old school pastillas, you I still have my foundation. Because when I'm in the center, Weaponizing the jingle. You can use it as a tool to get weapons. To me, this is what the jingle can create. for me. You know, if you play Capoeira, you know, take it a little more serious and do more studying instead of playing and see where the lessons are. Like what you, your potential is in the action, right? Because to me, Capoeira is more than a game. It's more than a martial art. It's how my Ancestors created a system of balance and understanding and studying balance, you know It's a game of balance and musicianship. It's a game of balance and movement. It's a game of, game of balance and combat And these things help us harmonizing these things and magic and spirituality You know because all of it's based upon the cosmos the movements you know, the inversions, giving praises to the ancestors. So it's more than a dance. It's more than a dance. Everything you do has a purpose other than a show. It's a show just by itself, but it is intended to make you fluid in transition. Everything's a weapon, you know? So if you play capoeira, take your capoeira a little more serious. Explore it outside the harbor. Internalize it. Make it work for you in every circumstance outside of capoeira culture itself. If you're interested in capoeira, come train with me. I'm teaching our Hamburg at Granada Park every Saturday at 1 p.m. And it's, we're not really gonna be studying this type of stuff, but I will be encouraging you to explore this type of stuff, all right? Thanks, guys.